I'm Christina Lopez Aducci and welcome to At Home with House of Puff. For those of us who love edibles, learning how to make can of butter is a must. So today I'll be showing you how to make can of butter in five easy steps. You don't need any special equipment, just what's in your cupboards. Here's the kitchen tools you'll need. A small saucepan, a medium saucepan with a tight fitting lid, a slotted spoon, a flexible spatula, a cooking thermometer, a fine metal strainer or cheesecloth, and a glass jar with a tight fitting lid. And here are the ingredients you'll need. Eight ounces of ghee or 10 and a half ounces of unsalted butter, water, and a half ounce of decarb cannabis. So what do I mean by decarb cannabis? Well, flour can't just go right into your food. First, you need to activate your cannabis with a very precise heat. A lot of beginners make this mistake of skipping this step. Unfortunately, if you make a can of butter without decarbing your flour first, it'll lose most of its potency and it's just a waste of good wheat. Decarboxylation or decarbing might sound complicated, but it's actually super easy. You want to maximize all the good stuff, meaning the THC, the CBD, and all the other cannabinoids. Just check out our video on how to maximize your cannabis. I walk you through how to decarb. I also include tricks for edibles like grinding your cannabis more coarsely than you would for smoking. In fact, for can of butter, I like to cut my flour with scissors instead of grinding it. Here's why. The finer you grind your cannabis, the more you'll release the plant's chlorophyll into your butter. Chlorophyll won't just turn your butter green, it also has a strong taste that will give your edibles a grassy flavor. As a rule of thumb, for the right consistency, use dried coriander as a guide for the texture of your grind. Today, we're going to make can of butter the lowest tech way. Anyone can use this technique, you just need a stove top. It takes more time than other methods and there will be that telltale aroma, but you don't need any special equipment. Okay, to make this as easy as possible, I normally use ghee. That's pre-made clarified butter, but if you can't find ghee, then regular unsalted butter will do. Clarifying your butter is really simple. It just takes a few minutes. The point is to remove the milk solids from the butter. Why is this important? It'll give you a higher quality can of butter that will last much longer in your refrigerator than regular butter. So, First melt the butter over low heat in a small saucepan. Keep the heat very low. You don't want to boil your butter. If you do, the milk solids won't rise to the top so you can skim them off like this. So just let them rise to the top. They look like foam. Keep skimming off the foam with your slotted spoon. When you remove all of the foam, ladle the rest of the butter fat from the saucepan into a medium saucepan that has a tight fitting lid. Be sure to leave the water in the bottom of your small saucepan. The clarification process should reduce your butter by about 25%. So 10 and a half ounces of butter should yield about eight ounces of clarified butter. Okay, now for the infusion. Add one and a half cups of water to the eight ounces of clarified butter and turn the heat back on. But again, keep it very low. If you're starting with ghee, stir it until it's completely melted. Then add a half ounce of decarb cannabis and stir it until the mixture is fully combined. Now cover the pan with a tight fitting lid and very gently simmer it for four hours. Set a timer to remind yourself to stir it every 15 minutes. The key is to make sure your butter is not burning. So use a thermometer to make sure its temperature stays below 180 degrees Fahrenheit. This step is really important because THC actually starts to degrade at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. While that's infusing, let's talk strains. Today I use Super Lemon Haze to make my can of butter. It's a cross between Lemon Skunk and Super Silver Haze. It has a wonderful, like literally wonderful, zesty, lemony, citrus aroma. It's great for dinner parties because everybody's chatty Cathy. It's a lively strain. It'll keep the energy up. We also love using Bubba Kush, OG Kush, Skywalker, Sour Diesel, Trainwreck, and White Widow. Okay, after four hours when your can of butter is fully infused, pour it out of the saucepan into a sealable glass jar through a strainer or cheesecloth. 
We like to use cheesecloth. Your butter will have reduced somewhat during the infusion process, so plan your batches accordingly. So that's it, your can of butter is ready to go. Spread it on toast, make brownies, send us photos. I love to see what you created. You can store it in the fridge or freezer up to six months. Make those edibles and enjoy. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment about what else you'd like to see on our channel. We love hearing from you, and we'll see you next time on At Home with House of Puff.